Your sign. Do me a favor, shake that Altoids container. See if it feels like something may have jumped inside. Does it feel like there's something inside now? Yeah. Open up the Altoids container. If there's a card in there, there better be. If there's a card in there, show, don't take it out yet. Just show it around. Show it around, everybody. Let them see a card has jumped inside. Perfect. Good job. I'll take the Altoids container, but you take the card. Now, hold on. Uh, pick, 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 pull it out. Hold on. Anybody remember what card that was that you guys picked? The three of diamonds? Open that card up. See if that can be the card that you guys just selected. Now, that's good, the three of diamonds, but here's something weird. Here's something weird. We just had cards go in and out of this Altoids container. Some of them signed, some of them unsigned. But the weird part was, when I open up this Altoids container, there is nothing inside here except a whole bunch of Altoids. There are no cards in here at all. All right, guys, last trick, the grand finale. This is the trick that when people walk by and I say, don't miss the world's best card trick, this is the card trick that I'm talking about. There's only two people in the country that actually perform this trick publicly. Both of them happen to be in Las Vegas uh, this week, uh, myself. The other guy is uh, Matt Franco. Uh, he's the guy who won America's Got Talent last year. Don't know if anybody ever watches that show. But let me grab somebody here who hasn't done anything yet. Um, anybody want to pick? Who wants to pick the card for the grand finale? Anybody really excitable want to do that? Yeah. Who's that? Who's that? Come on up. Come on up there. Stand right here, though, then right over the trap door. That's perfect. This is not the kind of card trick that you have to hide the card from me. In fact, uh, I'm going to see it. We're all going to see it. But I still want you to reach in there, grab any card at all that you'd like. Yeah, pull it right on out, take a look at it. If you want, you can hold it up in the air, show it around. As I say, I'm going to see it. We're all going to see it. Oh, yeah, take off this right here. Make sure things don't blow away on me. In fact, I am going to give you a pen, a pen so that you can just put something on the face of your card, your initials, uh, make a mark, any, just any little thing so that you know that it's unique. It's your card, not anybody else's. All right, so what do we got? The tennis spades. It looks like a few people have gotten that card before you. There's a few marks on there. You guys can see that? There you go. All right, I'm going to take your card, just put it on top of the deck upside down, put the rock on it so that it doesn't blow away. The other thing I need from you are your hands. Just like that. Actually, you can raise them up a little so we can see them. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right. You're right-handed. That's this side, right? Yes. Uh, I don't want to use your dominant hand. Uh, so you can put that one down. Stay just like that for me, just for a minute. While I take your card, the ten of spades, this is a marked card, uh, whatever I did there with it. It's a couple people did some things. I'm going to mark the back of your card. Uh, and I'm just going to put... Uh, doesn't write too well, but it's getting there. There we go. I'm just going to put a little X on the back of your card. In fact, close your hand right up. Your job is going to be stay just like that. Keep that hand closed throughout the rest of the trick. Now watch. Can you guys see the X I put on the back of this card? See where it is? down here by the base of my thumb. You guys can all see that? The X down by the base of my thumb. I call this the jumping X illusion, right? The jumping X illusion. Watch that X because it has now jumped over to the side of the card. Can you guys see that? The X has completely jumped over to the side of the card, right? Watch that X. You can see it has now jumped over to the opposite corner of the deck, the opposite corner. Lower your hand down. Keep it closed, though, but lower it down, lower it down. There you go. Watch the X. Because the X has just completely jumped off the card. There is no longer an X right on that card. Hold on. Here's your card, the Ten of Spades. Here's the back of your card. There's the front. Here's the back of his card. There is no longer an X anywhere on that card. All right, young man. Come on over here, take my place, turn around and face your audience, keep that hand closed, but lower it down. Guys, two quick things. One, if you've just gotten here, if you didn't get to see much of the show, stick around. You missed some awesome card magic. Uh, Plus, you'll be doing me a favor by helping me help, uh, get a little bit of an audience going for the next show. Second, if you've been here, uh, or if you've watched this trick and you've enjoyed it, uh, if you are able to tip, of course, that would be awesome for me. That is the only way I make a living is through your tips. So if you're able to do that, that is great. Uh, certainly, I would, I would truly appreciate it. Here we go. 
Lower that hand down one more time. The jumping X illusion. Turn your hand over. Open it up. And show it out. Show it up. Show it out for everybody. Let them see that X on there. The X has jumped off the card onto his hand. Guys, again, we're going to start in one minute, so stick around if you want to see some awesome card magic. If anybody is able to tip a course, that would be awesome. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that